Hello everyone, this is Robek from Programming Tips at tutorials.blogspot.com and today this tutorial is about uh, doing a search box to your Java application. So this is your Java frame. Uh, if you run the program right now you only have your main frame. Uh, now we're gonna add a text field here and we're gonna add a button here and we're gonna add uh, this is pretty much uh, your search search box your text and your search button and we're gonna add just a label to um, use for debug purposes <coughs> so you can see your uh, search box working so this label gonna have no text for now we're gonna take out the text of our um, searching box and we're gonna rename this button to search so right now if you're running the program you have a uh, okay you mm, okay this is this is kind of slow which, uh, let's run it. okay you run twice now uh, so you have your uh, place to insert your text like movies and search button so you can search but right now this is not doing anything so let's code our search box engine so what we need we need uh, to add an action uh, or an event listener so that when you click search something happens to do that we're gonna come here after the init components that the init of your um, program um, uh, GUI your graphical application we're gonna add an event listener to our to our button so we come here our button it's called J button one so we copy that we say J button one and we say add action listener and this action event a and we close right now it says we need to no nothing nothing important so we need this here I can say here for organization is better if we just open and close stuff right away because inside of here we're gonna put our um, function that's gonna be called with when this event uh, is triggered so we say public void action it's it's action performed and we open that and we say action event a actually it's uh, I got this wrong it's a new action listener right there so here we need to put the code that this is gonna make when you click the button so let's go here to our J label and let's go to set text to and let's say you searched for searched for plus and now let's uh, insert the text that you typed in the jText field one. So jText field one dot get text. So right now it says you need to import uh, action listener, and you need to you need to import action event. So right now. It's this, ah, and we need to over override this function. Override is say that uh, when this function is called by the system, 
you it's this function here that gets called you are overriding the default function action performed and replacing it by this so right now if we run the code hopefully something will happen when you click the button my PC today is kinda slow okay so search you search for and nothing let's say movies you searched for movies let's say tutorials you searched for tutorials but what you usually do when you're with an application and we are searching for something you say movies and you click enter and nothing happens and you have to click in search that's that's kinda lame so let's add this enter key action listener so you can just enter and search that so let's go here to source and we add an action listener to J button let's add an action listener to J text field so when you click enter it will do something so add this time is a key listener because we are listening to a key and not a click so new key adapter opens let's close this here just for organization purposes doing this really clean so we call it here public void key pressed it's another f default function that we are going to override so key event a and inside this we are going to do pretty much the same thing that we did over there so it says we need to import key adapter and says we need to import key event and okay let's see compilation successful uh, so if I run the application and my PC wasn't so slow today it should run and work just fine so let's see okay we have our search box I say movies we press search it happens Yes, and we press enter and it's not working why let's see so I found out what the problem was this key pressed function is with the uh, lowercase k and he asks you to add the override so we are overriding this default function and now it should work properly so let's run it wait just a, a second sorry for that and here we are and we are searching for movies and without pressing the mouse okay okay it's uh, something funny is happening now every time you enter something it is uh, it is changing the label because we didn't specify which um, which key we want to do so we need to uh, we need to add some conditions here for that to work properly so inside here we're gonna say if a dot get uh, key code this he is the event that triggered that uh, trigger triggered this uh, function so if this key is equal to key event dot vk enter it will do this code so let's just 
I'm running out of time so let's just run it real quick and hopefully this will be just fine so okay and we say movies and we yes enter it's okay uh, tutorials okay so let's say food we can also go and click search it will work so that's pretty much your basic search box that you use in almost every application you do i hope it helped bye bye see you next time